We're having a phone call uh, right now with uh, Dr. Abdullah Al-Ghati, the Vice President for Measurements and Tests at the National Center for Measurement and Evaluation. Uh, good morning, Dr. Abdullah. Good morning. It's our pleasure to have you with us here in the Saudi Morning Show. First of all, Dr. Abdullah, tell us about uh, the creation of the Test uh, Selection Center or this the new thing that uh, was made uh, through the National Center for Measurement and Evaluation. Uh, first, would like uh, to thank you for uh, having us with you at, sure. uh, this morning. And uh, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, you know the center is uh, you know totally a non-profit and uh, is uh, uh, delivering services to the you know all our organizations that needs uh, the center service. We do have a lot of testing in different fields, but, you know, for uh, recruitment uh, specifically, we just, you know, began this about three, four years ago. Mm -hmm. So, and, yeah, go ahead. Okay. You know, I was going to say, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, yes. you know, a kind of, uh, you know, uh, if we really want to perfect our jobs, you know, all over the kingdom, then we have to select according to potentials. Yeah, this is uh, why I was going to ask. This is the main goal and the main purpose of establishing uh, this uh, uh, test and those tests for those who want to employ people uh, efficiently, actually, and putting them in the right uh, position. This is it. Exactly. Uh -huh. And like uh, what kind of tests maybe and organizations that you're working with uh, nowadays so far? Well, we, we start, uh, you know, uh, developing a test for uh, tourism. That was a long time ago. It's about 10 years ago. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, with, for prosecutors, you know, uh, and uh, general attorney, uh, we have developed uh, one test and for teaching. Mm -hmm. Now we are expanding, uh, you know, uh, horizontally and vertically. We are expanding, you know, we have agreement with the uh, Ministry of, uh, uh, you know, uh, for uh, welfare and uh, social services. We have, uh, you know, uh, uh, agreement to, with them to uh, or our initial agreements to develop tests for uh, you know selection of people who are willing to work in as the you know governmental sectors indeed but as we talk about uh, the people who are working with you dr. Abdullah as part of the team for uh, the measurement tests and uh, for the National Center for Measurement and Evaluation. What are the qualifications of the employees themselves? Uh, we do have two kinds of people. One, uh, people who are, uh, you know, you know, uh, employed by the center and people who are, you know, uh, cooperating with, you know, some, you know, part-timers, let's say, with the with centers. You know, uh, people who are with us, you know, mainly in measurement and research, you know, uh, because uh, those people who know how to design tests and, you know, review them, make, uh, uh, you know, studies uh, to make sure that all tests are, uh, you know, built according to the, uh, you know, uh, uh, global standards. Mm -hmm. And then we have people who are working with us. Uh, either an hourly basis or by assignment, uh, who are uh, mainly an, uh, in, in, uh, subject area expert mm -hmm. from universities, from uh, you know uh, public uh, sectors, who uh, are ex specialized in, in a specific subject matter. And we, we, when we recruit those kind of people, we really you know uh, make a thorough investigation. Uh, uh, about a lot of criteria which we have. Uh, so uh, whenever a person met those criteria, we select them and we, you know, train them for, you know, uh, how to develop a new uh, items. And then we ask them to, you know, uh, write items. And even after they write items, we have uh, co uh, review committees that 
they review the, the, their work and whether they are profit or not. And most, you know, usually those kind of people are, you know, the, the, each committee contain at least three people, one in measurement, one in a subject area, and the third one is, you know, representing the public in, at large. Uh, yeah, and uh, Dr. Abdullah, let me ask you about uh, maybe the, the procedure that you're following. First of all, like you're signing an agreement with a certain organization or certain uh, company, and then like uh, they would be sending some people to you for you to test uh, them, and then provide the center organization maybe with the results of the test. It's, it's a, a very long process. It's yeah. not just you know that you sum it, you summed it up, but uh, it's more detailed than that. You know, like you know, any any organization that needs our help, yes. we first sit, sit you know down with them and have a detailed description of what are those people are doing, uh -huh. and if if they do this kind of work, what are the you know what is the good standing for you know and what's the the bad standing. Yeah. What are the characters of the people who, you know, do those kind of work? So we do a job analysis, a mm -hmm. detailed job analysis, and that takes at least three to six months. And then after we get a, you know, a job analysis, we design a, t a test that reflects on that, uh, you know, characteristic of the people who, whom they think that they are uh, highly uh, proficient people uh, in, in this area or, or in other area. Yes. So uh, it's a, a tailored uh, test which uh, is designed specifically to uh, meet the needs of the people at that organization. Indeed. Now, what are the advantages of uh, this kind of uh, professional tests, and especially in selection uh, for the jobs when we talk about these tests? Engineer, uh, Dr. Abdullah, if you can just uh, emphasize a little upon it. Well, uh, you know, uh, the, you know uh, if, we, if we really want to compete in this uh, new era, then we have to uh, select people according to you know their qualification and uh, that will really uh, reduce uh, you know waste in you know, money wise and in in uh, human resources also if if you uh, place people the right people at the right place then the pro the efficiency is, will be high and uh, also the gain is is high Mm -hmm. So this is the ultimate goal: is is to reduce uh, any kind of uh, waste uh, in in uh, resources, uh, so uh, whether it's uh, financial or uh, uh, related to human uh, resources. So it's uh, it's all uh, mostly about efficiency and to get uh, the best of the employee and to put him in the right position in order actually for the advancement of the organization or the company and even the nation itself and the economy as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Abdullah, with this, we would like to thank you so much for your valuable time. Thank you very much. Thank you. And that was Dr. Abdullah Al-Ghati, the Vice President of Measurement and Tests at the National Center for measurement and evaluation, talking about uh, the new tests uh, that are made for those who are employees or maybe looking for jobs in order to put them in the right uh, position.